What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 10 minute full body stretch. So grab a mat and let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome to your 10 minute full body stretch. I want you to use this stretch to relax your muscles, to cool down after a workout or just to put on at the end of a workout any day of the week when you need a little extra stretch. Okay, we're gonna start at the bottom of our body today and work all the way up to the top. So if you are ready, go ahead and spread your feet apart for me. Okay, and I want you to lean to the right first, working on the adductor and the inner thigh in three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna start with the legs and then we'll work our way up. All right, switch it over for me. One straight leg, the weight is over in your bent leg, so the stretch is here in your inner thigh. And let's switch back, a little deeper this time. And switch back one last time. There you go, now come back to the middle and I want you to release your hands towards the ground and shove your hips way back. Stretch the calves, stretch the hamstrings. Keep both of your feet nice and flat on the floor. And keep a nice flat back for me. Good, stay right here, big deep breath in and as you exhale I want you to take three steps forward with your hands. One, two, three. Okay, up into a pike position. Now let's pedal your heels down towards the floor, one at a time. Really work on stretching those calves out down to the Achilles. And try to leave your hips at the same height, but just drop one heel at a time. Great job. Now as you're pedaling, I want you to push way up onto your toes so you actually get a stretch in the arch of your foot as well. Okay, so when you bend that leg, push way up onto your toe so we can stretch the arches of your foot. And then let's drop both heels down, 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 and just push back towards your heels. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And walk it back into your toes. Bring your feet together. And let's hang out right here. You can relax your head, relax your neck, relax your back. And if your hands are not on the ground yet, maybe you're still here. That's okay. Okay, just give me a really relaxed position with your back, with your arms, with your head and your neck while keeping your legs straight. Great job. All right, I want you to walk it out again until you can drop down onto your knees. Okay, and I want you to come up on your knees, bringing that left foot forward. Okay, so all the balance is gonna depend on this front leg. Okay, with your left foot forward, I want you to take your left hand, reach back and grab onto that back foot. Okay, if you're having trouble doing that, just reach back towards your thigh and I want you to shove your right hip forward. Okay, so if you can grab your foot, grab it. If not, just shove your hip forward. Let's stretch that hip flexor and your quad at the same time if you can grab your foot. Good, all right, let's relax. And let's go one more time. Grab onto your back foot with the right hand. Right foot, right hand, same thing. Three, two, one, and release your hands. And I want you to extend your front leg out so we get a little bit more of a hamstring stretch here. Great job. Let's hold it here for 10 more seconds. 
Hamstrings are really important to make sure that your lower back stays elevated or stays um, equalized as far as your hip alignment. So if one hamstring is tighter than the other, it can kind of pull on your hips and cause some low back pain, okay? Let's go ahead and switch your feet over. So other foot is up front. If you can, bend your leg and grab onto that knee. And then let's shove that hip forward. Big hip flexor stretch here. If you can't grab onto your foot, just take your back hand and place it on your back or on your hips. And shove that hip forward just to where you're comfortable. Should be a stretch all down the front of your leg, your quad and your hip flexor. So if you're able to grab that foot, you can do that. Great job, go ahead and release. And we'll go one more time through. All right, hand up, push your hip forward, grab onto your hips or your foot and push forward. Great job, three, two, and sit on back. Front leg is nice and straight. Let's bend right over top of that leg, hamstring stretch. Big deep breath in, big deep breath out. Great job. Ten more seconds here. See if you can get a little closer to your foot. Four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, let's swing both legs out back. Okay, push your heels down towards the floor as you pike up and let's walk back to your toes. One vertebrae at a time. I want you to roll up slow, slow, slow. There we go. All right, so we're moving from the legs to the hips and now let's work on the core a little bit. So let's start with a little torso rotation here. Okay, your abs and your low back need stretched out just as much as the other big muscles in your body. Okay, and then let's start tapping that back toe so we get a big rotation here. In three, two, one, bring it back to the center. Nice wide stance. I want you to take your left arm, reach it up over your ear, and arch it up over top, keeping your chest and your hips nice and straight. Reach towards that opposite wall so you're really stretching the side body. Breathe. Two, one, bring it back up to the center and let's switch. Right arm up beside your ear, reach up and over towards that opposite wall, stretching all along the side body here. <sighs> Great job. This is one where you can just close your eyes, breathe. Let's hold for four, three, two, one. Come back up to the center. I want you to lace both of your hands together and I want you to pull up and over as you extend up onto your toe on that opposite side. So if I'm reaching to the right, I'm up on my left toe, pushing way over. And just alternate two second hold and switch. Here we go. So we're moving from the core and the obliques up into the lats and the posterior deltoid. We're moving our way up. Reach even higher. Three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Release those arms and let's cross your left arm over your chest. Okay, feet can just be relaxed, hip width apart. Chest is facing forward, so you feel the stretch posterior deltoid and then a little bit of tricep too. Thumb is facing the ceiling of that left arm. And go ahead and switch. Pull it right across your chest. Chest faces forward, hips face forward. Hold for four, three, 
three, two, one, and release those arms. I want you to take your hands back behind your back and for our last 30 second stretch, we're gonna work on the biceps, anterior deltoid, and the chest. So let's lace those fingertips together behind your back. Shoving back and down, I want you to open your chest and hold right here. Pull those shoulder blades back. Really open your chest up, open those shoulders. Lift your chin. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's take a big shake out. Hopefully your entire body feels a little bit looser now. I want it to start from the toes and work all the way up so you know all the great stretches to really hit all the joints and the major muscles in your body, okay? Don't forget about stretching your joints as well as your muscles. Okay, you notice our hip flexors, they might have been tight, shoulders might have been tight, so stretch your muscles, but also stretch the joints in between those muscles, okay? Share the stretch with a friend and maybe you start off your day with this 10 minute stretch now to really wake you up, or you start your ending your day with this cool down stretch to get relaxed and ease your body into a deep sleep, all right? Make sure you share this workout, and of course, before you head out, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel so you and I can work out again tomorrow. Great job today, guys. Don't forget to check out the Sydney Squad in the description below. I'd love to help you with the rest of your journey as far as nutrition and accountability. Okay, we're in it together. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.